Good morning, guys. Captain Dylan Hubbard here at Hubbard's Marina with a cloudy sunrise view this morning here inside Fish Famous John's Pass at Hubbard's Marina. We don't have any boats going out this morning. Unfortunately, the weather got the best of us today. We've got a northwest wind here and we've got tropical storm now might be a tropical depression i don't know uh mindy popped up out of nowhere on us not really out of nowhere we've been watching it for a week and a half or so but uh definitely a last minute tropical announcement by the national hurricane center yesterday so that was fun uh but Basically, what's going on weather-wise is we have a low pressure or cold front that's going to extend into northern Florida, might even make it down to the Tampa Bay area. So that's right, it's September 9th. We're getting our first cold front. It's crazy, crazy. Definitely pretty early, uh, but exciting. Uh, should cool things off a little bit for us. And... Uh, kind of start marking that transition of perhaps maybe those fish getting a little excited so looking forward to that that same low pressure uh, is what's caused Mindy to kind of track more northwest originally that storm was going to slide north and west into kind of southern Texas and uh, this big low pressure started scooping down and actually sucked Mindy up to the northeast and uh, that's why it's over where it's where it is now. It was Invest 91, now it's Mindy. However, that low pressure should extend down into Florida and break up pretty quickly, become an occluded front. And uh, that will hang around the area there Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Sunday, it's going to back off, giving way to a high pressure. So Sunday night into Monday, Tuesday, we're going to have an east wind and a pretty stiff east wind as well. So high pressure, bluebird skies, no clouds, east winds. That's gonna be the start of the week. So good fishing should be occurring uh, here over the weekend on the backside of this low pressure moving out of the area. And then that <clears throat> front or that high pressure building into the area. That means the barometer is gonna be slowly moving up all weekend long and especially there Sunday so hopefully it should bring us some good fishing right around the first quarter moon uh, near shore we've been doing well the 10 hour all days this time of year are running aboard the hub since the friendly fisherman is in dry dock the 10 hour all days are on the hub and the hub did extremely well Tuesday on its first 10 hour all day trip they got 20 keeper red grouper they got lane snapper mangrove snapper uh they did very very well plus porgies gray snapper white grunts uh and vermilions too but 20 keeper red grouper definitely not something you can uh be too upset about that was exciting to say the least so definitely doing well there on our 10 hour all day trips aboard the hub the five hour half day has been doing well we've been catching a lot of those gray snapper porgies uh we've been having some good solid action on our five hour half days near shore close to shore so the red grouper bites going real good about 80 100 120 foot of water the real big ones are out deep on our longer range trips. The Flying Hub 2's been doing pretty good out there. The last 12 hour extreme trip was a little bit tougher than we would have liked. They got about six fat keeper red groupers, some nice scamp, uh, but they did really well on some nice mangroves, lane snapper, and other heads and tails to fill out the box. And uh, we're hoping this weekend, Sunday, we'll be able to get out there on an extreme trip, take advantage of that good bite ahead of that high pressure settling in the area. The Friendly's in dry dock. It's out of the water. They pulled it out of the water there uh, Tuesday. Tuesday, the Friendly came out of the water. So it's up on the hill, getting a lot of work done to it below deck. Uh, we're painting the whole thing from top to bottom. 
including the bottom of the boat. Hopefully give us a little bit better uh, efficiency, speed, all that good stuff. So lots of work being done to the friendly. She'll be back into service mid to late October in time for that October 19th, 39 hour. We do have one 39 hour trip during dry dock. That's September 21st, September 21st. That's a Tuesday trip. We've got plenty of 12 hour night snappers, 12 hour extremes, five hour half days, 10 hour all days. Fishing has been good and I'm hopeful this little low pressure will shake things up enough to continue that trend you can see here in the past all these birds flying around. I don't know if you can see them too well, but a lot of birds flying around. And uh, this time of year is exciting. We have that bait getting bigger. And as that bait gets bigger, it's going to start flushing out of the pass. As it flushes out of the pass, that will really excite those mackerel. Those Jack Curvell, those ladyfish, they get super active and vice versa. Big snook, tarpon following those schools of bait feeding on those ladyfish and uh, other smaller predatory fish so it's an exciting time of year as we transition into kind of that that almost fall pattern i'm scared to say that it's, it's way too early but hey it's our first cold front of the year who knows so uh, hopefully you guys can get a chance to come out and join us here inside John's Pass at Hubbard's Marina. Don't forget, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too darn busy. Don't forget about our Friday uh, morning Fox 13 news segment every Friday morning at 8.15 a.m. Every Saturday morning, we've got our Real Animals radio show from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. And then don't forget Sunday nights. We always have our free live Q&A fishing show every Sunday night starting at 8.30 p.m. September 21st. We've got our Real Animals Fishing Conversation at Furman NPR. And yesterday we just signed up for October 13th. 7 p.m. a fishing seminar at Fat Cat Tavern over in Seminole. So, lots of events, lots of ways to stay up with us. Don't forget, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too busy. Hopefully, we'll see you soon inside Fish Famous, John's Pass at Hubbard's Marina. The original and longest running near shore and offshore fishing fleet here on the west coast, west peninsula coast of Florida since 1928. Over... Uh, 90 years, nearly 100 years, and four family generations we've been fishing and catching plenty of fish. Hopefully we'll see you soon.